Hello, you're listening to Kent Richard von Kuden of Lurgy. Today is Wednesday, the 6th of May, and uh, it's another day outside the courthouse here in the court courts. Uh, just crossing the bridge now. It's interesting to look at the Liffey here, see how high the water level is, but to see the, the mixture of incoming and outcoming tide is see where the stuff has actually been collected in the water there now but a uh, lovely day here now 15 degrees 14 15 degrees I always like looking at some of the interesting graffiti on things you know some are more talented than others in their methodologies see the checkpoints there traffic down to uh, one lane and uh, another checkpoint up there checking where cars coming out from Christchurch so let's cross the bridge and see what we can find. Four courts still under construction. Although I was listening to the car on the way in, they were worried about social distancing in jury trials, so uh, they're wondering how they're going to get around that and maybe have non jury trials. So maybe just bring back hanging and get it over with, and it'd be a lot easier. But uh, it seems to be a smaller crowd here today, but you can imagine as well with the fact that some people travel so far. How are you doing? How are you? Some people travel up so far that you know it takes time to organise these things. But uh, but there we go. Uh, chat in a bit. Hey fellas, how are you getting on? I got you seeing me now at the moment. Just focusing this way. So they look for names. Nice rousing speech this morning. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. Um, are they asking for names? Hmm? Are they asking for names now? Um, yesterday sure. they were asking for. So what's the answer? Do you say no? Well, you say no. Don't give me your name. No, okay. you don't have to. Don't give me just okay. unless Walk unless you suspect that, like that okay. you're involved in a crime. Okay. You don't have to give names. Um, I was going to say, I, yeah. I was going to ask you, so yeah. you might yeah. know this. Was it Chicago that got uh, the, the, the lockdown declared unconstitutional? Was it Chicago? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not to be sure, honest. Because I'm trying to find out. Yeah, I think, it, I think because it was, people it was are all Chicago, saying yeah. Chicago, but I, it, yeah. it might not be. You don't want to be giving advice. Yeah, of course, yeah. I thought you might know me. Well, funny enough, yesterday here, right, I got talking to uh, a journalist. It turns out he went to school with, uh, I went to school with his brother, you know? Mm -hmm. And we had a great old chat about this. And now he's a crime correspondent, yeah. but I gave him a bit of an education regarding the hydroxychloroquine drug yeah, yeah. Right. instead of the vaccine, yeah, yeah. and the fact that what 80% of the pharmaceutical companies in America uh, own the TV networks, and that's why they're pushing the vaccine rather than the cure, yeah. and that 70% of all profits from pharmaceutical companies come from vaccines rather than generic drugs. Yeah, they're not making money in the yeah. No, yeah. and that's the problem. The mo I, I would say, you know? I said they probably charge $100, $200 for the vaccine. Well, as far as I know, the, the hydroxychloroquine, it costs uh, about 20 euro for a five-day course of drugs. And the other thing... Yeah. But it was in Australia. In Cuba. Yeah. Yeah. And they're selling it for well, there's an Australian billionaire spent 32. He, he bought 32 million doses of hydroxychloroquine to be distributed right, freely, and the, even their Australian Minister for Health has agreed to. Uh, I, I did it. I had it up there last uh, Sunday. And did you, you hear know? the people that made the the manufacturer of the chloroquine? It right. was killed. Did you know that last really? year? Yeah, yeah. The guy that. Yeah. Oh, how interesting. Yeah, yeah. Do you know why we're going to get killed? Why not? Right. Did she give you gin as well? Did you get gin with it too or just the coin in? Yeah. yeah. We used to get it going on holidays. If you went to yeah. the country, you bring your quinine with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, you know why? It came to your friend. It yeah. comes from a. It's not happening from here now. Well, you know why the. The bark of it. Why the English were called limeys during the Second World War? Why they were called what? Why they were called limeys? No. Because each one of them was given a lime every day to keep it for vitamin C. Yeah. And they were known as the limeys as a result of it. You know? And the Sherman tanks, uh, no, what was it? What are the tanks? is known as a Tommy Cooker because they used to explode on impact from a tiger shell. From the what? From a, a shell fired from a tiger and Panzer tank. They were known as Tommy Cookers because their army, the armor on the side of the tank was so insufficient that when it, it caught fire and blew up, they were known as Tommy Cookers. Rather uh, awful, you know. But that's that's combat, unfortunately. It's a great sign, folks. I like that. Very good. Wonderful. 
There's somebody going the wrong way in a one-way street. How about that now? And it's a Dublin Ridge and all. Good God. Lucky, very lucky. Could have been a head on there. There's the... Just looking at the buses going by here. Very few people on board the bus. It's a good crowd as usual. Lighting up now. Hopefully we'll be down short and get a result. Nice to see the Irish flags. If you actually look at the Bible, right, the book of Revelations speaks, in it. chapter yeah. 13, 16, it. talks about the mark of the beast, yeah. and it says you will, not, you, you will not be able to buy or sell or move anywhere without this, and technically, like, to be honest with you, I'm kind of new to all this stuff, right, but I, I'm very concerned with the push towards mandatory vaccinations, because if you think about it, there's a drug called hydroxychloroquine, right, now Trump actually mentioned that in one of his press conferences, all right, and they were, the, the networks were so annoyed that they were considering, uh, instead of showing live his live speeches, right, but showing edited versions of his speeches. Now, the problem is 80% of the television networks in America are owned by pharmaceutical companies, and 70% of their profits come from vaccines rather than drugs. So it is in their interest to promote the vaccine. And the problem is, like, with this drug, hydroxychloroquine, it's been around for 70 years. It's based on a malaria uh, drug and they did a test in france and of a thousand people that were tested with this drug they had a 93 percent success rate of getting people walking out of a hospital between five and ten days and an australian billionaire bought 32 million doses of it to be distributed freely and their australian minister for health has agreed to any doctor that wants to prescribe that to his patient he will give it free and he's also contributed 11 million dollars towards research towards this drug it's been used in Jordan, Israel, Malaysia, India, and uh, one other country that it slips my mind. But you can see where, to me, what breaks my heart is that the death that this country will suffer as a result of an unforced lockdown. Like, look at all the buses going by. I was up there uh, near where I live and I counted six 15 bees parked in a row. There was four of them in a row and two of them around the corner. You know, the suicide rate, I can only imagine the stress on your job as well, but what you have to deal with, you know, suicide, domestic violence. And the guy jumped out of an airplane without a parachute and he was COVID-19 as well. Do you know what was the worst? The worst in England was the little girl, the baby that was killed in the crash. That was the worst. The family cannot claim insurance on the child. And that's the other thing as well, how that affects the child. A man walking by there with ballot boxes from the last election. Right folks, I'm going to pause this here and uh, I'll do another video when, uh, when Gemma comes out. Okay, cheers. I'll upload this now.